Hey guys, first of all, Merry Christmas or just Happy Holidays if you don't happen to celebrate it. All I want for Christmas is a subscribe. I was trying to hit 140k before the year ends. Potatoes was really nagging me about it. Like, I don't know if it's gonna work. Maybe with the power of Christmas, we can get to 140k before the year ends. I don't know. Anyway, today in Kenshin Impact, we are doing a Crimson a gate guide. It's probably a little late by now, unfortunately. I didn't realize how long it would take to edit all that together. But regardless, midway through, I was like, well, I've put way too much work into this just to throw it in the trash now. So, uh, <laughs> hope you maybe enjoy the efforts anyway. We will be doing one chunk at a time. There will be little intermissions where there's, you know, the chunk we are currently doing. Since we are doing a lot of different locations here, they're going to go by pretty quick. And if you're actually trying to follow along with your own game, you most likely will need to pause. So we're starting with Southern Outskirts for the most part. I'm I'm going to uh, explain exactly what's happening unless uh, you need more information. Uh, so this one is on some some little thing. This one you get by, it's just a boss chest. So you can see the location there. There, there will be an enemy there. This one's on the little mountain on the location down there. Very hard to miss. Uh, same with this one, just a boss or an enemy chest. That's what they are called when you have to kill an enemy. Uh, this one is uh, floating in the water way out there in the ocean. This one is up on the tree. You, you can also reference my little mini-map up there if that's easier for you. Uh, this one is uh, kind of a little side quest here. Um, I had a little trouble figuring out that I had to uh, melt that to get the Sealy to come over. Then you uh, do that with Chi Chi and then you get some chests. And in more or less the same location you have to come from the top and there is one here as well. Now we're starting from the uh, Statue of the Seven to get one of the last island chests over there. Uh, we have to fly quite a quite a ways to get to this little land where there is a red rock. Pick that up, shoot that rock down there with Vinti, and there's a chest over there waiting for you as well. Here you have to get three of these little wind dudes to make a wind thing, and it'll throw you up there. Uh, you don't necessarily need to make an ice bridge here, but you can. Uh, this is another enemy chest in that location you see down there. Very good. Uh, here we have some more enemy chests. Very self-explanatory. Um, you can just see the location on the map. Okay, now we're moving on to the top left side. You can see it circled there in red. First of all, we are starting here. Uh, without Venti, you know, there, there are also these wind dudes around. You can make your own thing or you can grab a bottle, uh, craft one of those bottle things. Uh, same story here, actually. Just have Venti do his thing or craft the bottles. Uh, this was another enemy chest in this location. Here is a little tricky. You have to get the red rock and then go where I'm going up this little hill uh, to some ice. I chose Venti because you can get there a little bit earlier when you shoot his bow like that. It's very handy. And there's that one. Uh, this one is just pretty high up. I really recommend either having Vinti or having the uh, Animo bottle thing. Uh, otherwise, you have to go on the other rock face and it's just kind of annoying. Uh, here we have Ruin Grader. Basically, this is kind of an event one. Super, super hard to miss. It's just down there. There's another one much higher up, but we just got that one earlier. Here we have a uh, challenge, which gives you this chest. And then if you just go pretty much straight to the north right -ish. there's another one so that was, that was the location of those two here we just have a challenge defeat the enemies and you get some chests one includes a crimson agate a gate I don't know how it, how they call it uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory it's just up in the air at this location another enemy chest here um, another enemy chest, it seems, at this location, you can see on the map. And now we're looking at the beginning area. You would have thought we would do that at the beginning, but that's not how we roll. But yes, here is actually the first gate you'll get, um, just next to the tree. Next one is uh, pretty close by, up on this uh, big hill. And then we have one which I could not find the footage for. I'm pretty sure I recorded all of my uh, agate stuff, but it's on one of these trees, or it, w it was on one of these. It was on one of those trees, just like this one is. This one is a different one, however. They are both on trees next to each other, pretty pretty close by. And this is another one on a tree. Did I mess something up? Are there really three on tree that close? 
I guess it could be. Uh, this was uh, basically an event chest. You'll get this pretty early on and it's hard to miss. This is another very hard to miss one. It's kind of screaming at you to collect it. Uh, this one is pretty high up. So starting from a uh, high spot is always good. Here we have another uh, ice trapped crimson agate. You do need the red stuff here as well. And this one is just up in the air in between two trees at this location. When they're outside, they're usually pretty easy to find. This one's on some kind of dragon bone. You can see it on the map. This one is in the uh, dragon's eyes. I did cheat a little bit here with Vinti, but you can also climb. Uh, now we're just doing what I titled this place. Yeah, I don't really know what to call it. It's not really an area. Uh, so this first one here is in between two hillatrills, just protecting it, doing their best. We stole it though. Uh, next one is up on the mountain, sort of right next to those hillatrills. And then we gotta fight a, a big hillatrill. Just another enemy chest here. Another enemy chest at that location you can see down there. Practically right on top of it, just the really big mountain right next to that uh, enemy chest. Uh, here is a little bit more complicated one. We gotta light up all four of those uh, cryo statues, which will um, unlock something else. Uh, so there that goes. The um, I believe the water is going down, or we can activate that to make the water go down once we hit those four cryo statues. And then down here we see a, uh, a gate chest locked in a cage. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. So let's go ahead and break these rocks over on the other side of the room. There is one of the two gates in this room. Then what you gotta do is uh, hit that switch, open that, go grab this red rock, and uh, well, you can first get rid of that ice to uh, check out that scroll there, which is also locked. Go grab another quartz, switch back to an archer, and then hit this ice up there. And that ice up there is another switch which will unlock those cages. So there you go. Fighting another Ruin Grater over in this location gives us some chests. Up here, very high in the air. So just make sure to be going down the mountain. Um, this one, very, very hard to miss. Not really an explanation needed. This one is on a mountain at that location. Again, when they're outside, you don't really need an explanation. Just go to the area and make sure you're as high as possible. Uh, here was a little bit more hidden, but ultimately still outside. So now we're moving on to what I titled This Was a Nightmare, the centerpiece. This was a nightmare in every way possible. To look for the things, to edit in a way where it's sort of streamlined. Everything was so clumped together, so when I had my markers there, they were all just like, I don't know what the hell is going on. I, I had 18 headaches. And I do have to throw in a note here, this will be divided into two sections because there is an inside and an outside to this place. What I consider inside is where it has a ceiling, you know, because you can always start from a high place and just look down. But if there's a ceiling there, then you won't know you're missing something, right? So we're gonna start with all the inside places and all the inside uh, uh, crimson agate first. I believe we are also starting perhaps in the cave. Yeah, this is kind of like the one of the entrances it's really annoying, but this one is just, you know, chilling out there. It's not really hidden, but there is a ceiling. Here's another ceiling. It's basically, you just have to go up on that arch and drop down. It's, you'll see it, honestly, if you just are in the area for a bit. Um, this one as well. It's kind of the same story, just under the arch. It's pretty hard to miss. Here is a pretty tough challenge, and there is a super easy one to miss there. You can see it right there under that ice block. I didn't even notice that, but I got it accidentally. <laughs> and of course, you get one for completing the challenge as well. Here we have one just kind of in the middle of the room, this giant uh, sort of rock pillar in the middle there. And I think we're going outside now. Yeah, we have like a little boss fight here uh, and, and some chests he drops. It's, I'm sorry, by this point of editing, I was so so exhausted already so it might be a little messy here uh, but yeah we have the uh, barrel explosion there again pretty hard to miss this one's also super hard to miss uh, this one's literally impossible to miss it's like when you open the domain it's there uh, and then this one when you go up on the wind turrets if you look 
a little bit like behind him there will be one of those crimsons on uh, a pillar there this is a super annoying area because there's like so many levels and uh, here you got to get a uh, scarlet run back to this section here and there will be some ice you can melt and some some uh, triggers if you are wondering how to unlock that uh, gate there you have to melt the ice Here's another pretty hard to miss one just on this pillar over here. There were a couple in this like same area, so it was a little hard. And now we're getting to the tippy top of the mountain. This is a very, this was a very high, I kind of made that a pretty short cut. And uh, same here, same here. They're just kind of everywhere. You're going to probably have to pause for these, honestly, and just kind of look at the map. <laughs> they are all outside, though, so you basically don't need much more than the location. And uh, here again, pretty high up still, but also outside. Same story with this one. We are a little bit lower on the mountain now, but uh, regardless, it's always best just to start high. Um, I actually recommend, if possible, you know, because there is another one way, way up here as well. Once you light those three torches, you'll get a little wind turret and, uh, you know, this thing that popped up when you unlock the domain. Yeah, there's an agate up there as well. <laughs> I also recommend like bringing a wind bottle with you or else that's going to be annoying unless you also have Vinti. And I personally placed a portable teleporter there so it's much easier to uh, look for the rest around. Now we're going to be looking at some miscellaneous chests and I do apologize, I actually meant to mark these um, so we so you know which one we're, we're actually going for over there. But I'll just put my mouse over it instead. So we are actually going for this one here. If you can see currently, it's just an enemy fight, so you'll probably not, not miss it anyway. But there are actually two here, one in the hut and one on top of the hut. So we're actually going from bottom to top. This one is this one right here. It's just, again, outside on a mountain. We slipped up a little bit there. Uh, the next one we'll be going for is the one above that right here. And this is a sort of special event one, which is why it's in the miscellaneous section. Um, yeah, you need those three treasure boxes and then you can open up that and, you know, get another a, a gate. And then we have the uh, boar challenge uh, that went by a little bit fast, so I'm going to rewind. In this location right here, there are going to be three frozen boars, melt them all, and then the big boar will come out. The big boar is probably the hardest enemy in the game, honestly. Uh, I died, not on purpose, but I did get an, an achievement for dying, which was cool. Um, so make sure if you're like a god to die on purpose. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course we get an agate for that as well. Next we are looking at this one right here. Again, just on a mountain, pretty chill. And then finally over here, I'm 90% sure, but you can see I don't have the map up there, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it was this one right here that we're getting right now. And finally we're doing this little puzzle here. There's a bunch of these pressure plates on the ground. I don't really want to explain how I think it works, just look at how I do it, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, we go to that one. I did have to cut a bit because I kept trying to look at those symbols and figure out some kind of pattern. I still don't really understand what I'm doing, but I was just trying to light them up, you know, all the same symbols at once. Uh, so yeah. You can just kind of, like if this, you can also skip this part if you've already done this. This was one that was covered in ice, so don't get too confused. If there is an ice block around here, then you have to melt it. Um, but yeah, that's the order we did it. I did have to cut this a little bit. Um, as you can see, it kind of jumps around because, again, I was just walking up to the wall and looking at it, so I didn't want the section to actually be 10 minutes. But that was the... I don't know. <laughs> I guess I kind of maybe know what's going on or not, but it worked out, so whatever. So yeah, once you get your tree up to level 8, you unlock Crimson Wish. And what this is, in a nutshell, is it'll give you five challenges. I'm not sure if it's every day yet or every couple of days. It'll give you five challenges sort of spread around the map. You go there, do them, and you get a Crimson Agate per challenge. It should be pretty easy to get the rest of the way to 12. Regardless, I think it's a good idea to try and get to eight sooner than later so you can start doing your Crimson Wishes. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it. I'm sure there are a couple I'm missing, perhaps, but I would say it's at least 95% of them and easily enough to get you to level eight, which is, you know, the, the important part. For the rest, you can take your time. Make sure to tell me anything in the comments down below. If you know of any that I missed, you can drop that in the comments as well. Make sure to leave a like if you did happen to enjoy. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time.